Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Here we are, returning to return to Dark Souls 3. Um, been a while since I've played this game. Basically because of Smash Ultimate and Soul Calibur and all the other games that were distracting me these couple of weeks. Which there's a lot of, you know, this season, the holiday season as they say, is always kind of busy in this regard. Uh, lots of games coming out and all that. So, you know, I gotta, I don't know, compartmentalize or something. No, that doesn't make sense. Anyways, we are going into Lothric Castle. Oh, I haven't, yeah, I haven't gone up, have I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, no matter, no matter, we're going back. Finally getting to Lothric Castle, this is gonna be... Well, you know, the next big portion of the game. I'm planning on finishing this game uh, ASAP. Not because I'm in any hurry or anything, just because this series has gone on long enough. Uh, I've kind of dragged it out, not gonna lie. However, uh, well, not however, but that does mean that the episodes are gonna be a little bit longer. More towards the hour side, so double, quote-unquote double episodes. Uh, yeah, I haven't even placed this thing, have I? Weird way to unlock a castle, I'm not gonna lie, but whatever floats your boat. This armor looks sick. I don't know how I pieced this set together, but... Well done me, well done me. This is a cool cutscene. I like it. Got that blueberry jam. Grape jelly. Oh, and I gotta tell you, this is the best thing ever. Uh, the place where I work, uh, there's a new store that opened. Well, it's more like a little counter opened that sells actual candy and cereals and snacks from the US. Because there was one, there's already one. People who follow me on Instagram, <coughs> Mr. Underscore Sketchhead, follow me. Probably already saw that a couple of months ago I posted, I bought a bunch of like Twinkies and Doritos and cereal and all that good shit uh, to reminisce from the US. But it was always kind of, always kind of a pain in the ass because I got to go into the city, got to park my car, got to get on the train because there's no parking outside where that place is. But they actually put, it's like, man, it's like they knew I worked there because uh, they put a counter exactly where I worked. I was like, you gotta be shitting me. And they have everything. So that's where I saw. I haven't bought it yet. But they have the Velch's grape jelly uh, that is like in a bottle and it's squeezable. I was like, holy shit. I haven't bought it yet because um, honestly peanut butter works with any type of jam, I think. So, you know, it's not a priority, but still, the fact that it's there is good enough. Got them Doritos. It's a perfect place to get fat, which is exactly the opposite of what I'm trying to do. Not that I'm fat uh, without being, you know, any arrogant about it, but I'm not. So, yeah, but I'm trying to avoid getting fatter. Which, you know, with Christmas coming around, it's already going to be difficult enough. I feel like charge attacks don't deal enough damage in this game. Oh, yeah. Los Poyos Hermanos coming in to attack here. Got that hyper armor, bitch. What you're going to do? Oh, yeah. Going to kill me when I'm out of stamina. And nothing you can do about it now. I'm gonna get squashed. I didn't level up. Probably because this is not enough to level up, is it? Hmm. <coughs> but yeah, unlocked Lothric Castle. We're just gonna continue on. What do I have this thing <coughs> upgraded to? It's only plus two. It's still doing okay damage. Weirdly. Yeah, I don't even know where I can get more Titanite. It's 
scales is it in this game i think it is weird place to put put lothric's set um not my first choice there's some weird like item locations and places in this game but it's okay we forgive it do we forgive it though because i don't know judging from the comments sometimes especially during streams a lot of people dislike this game again i've said this before personally i don't dislike it but it's not my favorite either I just love swinging this thing around. Just a very, I don't know, visceral chunk of damage that it does. And again, like you saw, I haven't upgraded it in fucking ages. And it's still scaling pretty well. I know it's because I've upgraded my strength a bunch of times of oh, this asshole. I dislike this one with the double axes. Like surprisingly fast. And does a spin to win too. I swear I was trying to dodge that. I'm not getting hit on purpose here. Uh, oh yeah, throw your bitch ass weapons. Fuck you. No, still not dead. Now you are. All that for a large shard. Seems like a bit too much work. Oh yeah, and is it this one? Yeah. I know the secrets. I know the secrets. Cool painting. You gotta use that concept art that you made, guys, right? Just gotta cell shade it a little bit. Not cell shade it, but you know. I don't know. Isn't the shield supposed to be here though? Somewhere? Whatever. I don't care about it really. The shield. I don't care about the set either, but... Whatever. Got that dark sign. And these weird butterfly things. Which they never... To my knowledge, they never actually did explain what these things are exactly. I didn't think he would survive that. That's why I kept swinging. Look at that. Look at that unlock strafing. Professional no hit, no death challenge runner. Which is what I. If you watch my streams, you know that that's what I am. Fuck. Fuck. Getting shot at. Far Cry 5 style. I'm saying that because I've been playing Far Cry 5 again. Uh, I never did actually end up finishing the game. But... I saw that they had that new standalone expansion coming out, which... I was almost tempted to make a full kind of... Mother... <clears throat> he just kept swinging. Like I was planning to do. Which I almost made a fucking separate video on because it's kind of scummy uh, if you don't know what's happening there's a standalone expansion coming out for Far Cry 5 I think called New Dawn or something it's a new dawn it's a new day I don't know something one of one of those like typical cliche ass titles and um, basically what it is is the Far Cry version of Fallout, as in post-apocalypse, doesn't look as drab as uh, Far Fallout, and those two sound similar. But basically, it takes place after the ending, the nuclear ending of Five, which I, I when I first saw it, I was like, "Damn, these boys are geniuses at Ubisoft," because how. Is there a more perfect way to sell your fucking shitty standalone expansion other than make a game with a super unsatisfying bullshit ending? It's genius actually when you think about it. Make a game that basically most people universally hate the ending to. 
And then, you know, year later, or has it even... When did Far Cry 5 come out? I think in the summer, right? Yeah, and just half a year later, be like, hey guys, there's a continuation. Which I'm guessing uh, this is going to be the uh, game where we'll, or expansion where we'll actually be able to kill Joseph Seed and all that. I mean, again, it's so scummy that I almost got to commend them for even coming up with the idea. And see, even I feel like I got to buy it. Like, because one of the reasons I didn't want to, or I never finished Far Cry 5 is because I got spoiled on the ending. Uh, I heard through the grapevine that it had, Far Cry 5 had a super shitty ending. I looked it up and it did. And honestly, it put me off from kind of finishing the game because, you know, the story basically doesn't end. The villain wins. It's like... You know, Empire Strikes Back, but worse. Because it's not just the characters that are in, sh in the shit, but the whole world. So, yeah. And I thought that maybe they were going to do another DLC after, you know, the zombie, the Vietnam, and the Mars one. Well, they made a fucking standalone game. twenty nine ninety nine. I was like, fuck. It's, it's genius. Uh, super scummy, but genius. When you think about it. Did I not get my souls back? I don't think I did. There they at. Alright, sorry guys, you can... You're a little freak out. I'm gonna reset this anyways. I'm not gonna reset this. He fast. So yeah, again, I am probably gonna play it. Whether on stream... <coughs> or <coughs> damn, I'm not I'm, I'm not even sick anymore. Just coughing. Probably on screen, on screen, on stream. I'm gonna play it and actually finish it because again, like I've said this before, that probably out of all the Ubisoft franchises, which they're all basically the same when you look at it, I kind of like Far Cry the most. I gotta say that Far Cry 2 is one of my favorites. It's a great, it's a brilliant game, Far Cry 5. I mean, Far Cry 2. And I didn't mind the gameplay of 5. I thought the action was good, you know, the kind of vehicle combat. Oh, we have two levels. I'm gonna get more, more vitality a little bit. So yeah, the gunplay is good. The companions are good, especially the, the doggos. Uh, and you have a cat as well, which is cool. Vehicles control well, arcadey, but well, you know, shooting is fun, mowing down people, but I don't know, the kind of, first of all, the weird duality of sometimes the story being way too serious for its own good with like the religious stuff and all that, and other times being extremely stupid. I mean, I don't mind either of those tones, but I would say just pick one and stick to it. Either be super arcadey like Far Cry Blood Dragon or be more serious like Far Cry 2 or something. So that that was kind of weird about the game and the other one was the ending but you know this new one it, it actually looks okay I don't know man like you better believe I'm gonna use every discount under the sun that I can find to fucking get the price down as much as I can I did the wrong thing. I'm an idiot. Doesn't matter. Watch this. Fuck. Okay, let's stop that. Let's stop that before I get killed. Thought I could d demonstrate my mastery of this game's parry mechanics, which obviously I have done. Instead, I just got killed. The reason I don't care is because I have 27, what you call it. So, really, is there a chance of me running out? Not, not really. Hold on, let me adjust my mic. I apologize. Oh, shit. Oh, god damn it. I gotta fix this after. Well, we still have 45 minutes left and hope 
my mic stand doesn't fall apart. Yeah, on the list of things to get is a mic stand, a new one. Because this one, basically, what happens to it is that it sort of, I guess, like, unravels. Basically, after a while, it just starts falling apart. And that ain't good, because we are currently in the falling apart stage. And it's fucking hanging off. Like... The thing, the arm holding the mic is kind of dangling, which I dislike. Because I don't know when it's gonna really fall apart. Yeah, fuck it. Pop a Hume. But it's not a humanity, this is an Ember. So yeah. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, Far Cry. We'll see, we'll see what happens. This game is so goddamn loud. That's the only always something I notice about this game. It constantly, constantly goes in the red. The game audio on the recording because I can see the levels, the audio levels with my recording software. And no other game does it. And this one does it all the time. I know you can turn down the sort of overall volume, but it's too much work. Please tell me that... Okay, that doesn't count. Like, please tell me that doesn't count with the Estus blocking whatever. That did. It's all good. Killed most of the significant enemies. It's worth throwing shit at me. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we have to face a uh, Irithyll Knight down here, which is it's gonna be painful. There he is. I was just about to say. I'm wondering if I can frostbite him. But he ended up frostbiting me. They're probably immune, aren't they? Don't ask me why I'm not two-handing. No! Oh. Fuck. That's a really bad place to fight this enemy. Let me tell you that. Out in the open, they're okay to dodge. Uh... I think this one is out of all the three all the three you can find in the game, this one is the most difficult. We're wearing each other down. Eat shit. Irithyll rapier, I don't even need that. If I were smart, I would start heading back to a bonfire. But I'm not smart, so we're gonna keep going. Spirit tree crest. This was he I didn't know even know this was here. Maybe I did. Oh shit, that looks kind of cool. No, it's the exact same thing as all the other ones. They just have a different tree on it. Whatever, whatever, we'll use this tree. I feel like rocking this tree. I don't know. Ouch. Should I risk? I have zero Estus. 
thought I had one or two, but I actually have zero. So we're definitely going back. We tell you that. These dragons need to shut the hell up, I swear. So anyways, I'm going to continue on. Like I said, this is going to be a lengthier episode. There, to be fair, oh, I picked the wrong option because I'm stupid. To be fair, there isn't actually that much left from this game. We got Lothric Castle. Kind of the side stuff. The only one I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to do the dragon... Whatever. You know. It's not the dragon shrine. Arch Dragon Peak. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. <clears throat> Just thinking about what's there. There's really nothing there that I'm particularly <clears throat> looking for. But I will do the other... The Dark Firelink Shrine or whatever it's called. And then, of course, the DLC, which the DLCs are the more problematic part because they are difficult as hell. My hope is that since I'm not using a magic build, I will actually have sort of enough power to make it through fairly easily. We are in trouble, boys. We are in trouble. That was a risk, and it paid off. No! Oh, it play, plays the animation as well. Man, when you're under pressure, this really does seem to go on forever. That's <laughs> this blocking thing. Fuck you. We trade. Oh, it's him. Shit. All right. This is the end of your aggro range, bitch. So, whatever. Oh, that's kind of shitty. You cannot see your character. I thought you were able to see your character's face under the mask, but actually it's just like... All right. Well, that broke the illusion of this extremely realistic game, Dark Souls 3. This fool can get fucked. And this one as well. And the monster downstairs with luckily friendly fire available. Cool. I think the place, place to run at, or run to, through the fire, through the fire and the flames. Man, that song is so bad. That whole band sucks. Dragon Force. You know, and I'm not the one, like, I am usually tolerant of all music genres. Again, I listen to everything from hip hop to rock to metal to well, basically whatever. There's only two types of music. Music I like and music I don't like. One music one type of music I don't like is fucking power metal. A lot Dragon Force. It's man I hate it. And man do you take a lot of damage in this area. These firebombs add up. You know, that's kind of... That music genre... And many of these, like... Alternative... Oh, that's a Mimic. I didn't even know there was a Mimic here. Many of these, like, alternative metal genres... Are... Perfect examples of... The fact that... Technical ability... Doesn't equal... Oh, that's what I wanted. Doesn't equate to being able to write decent music. 
Same with what is that fool called? Um, Ingwi Malmsteam. That's the one. Like super good guitarist, but man, I do not. And no offense if you like any of these artists, but you know. <clears throat> But, you know, that does work the other way as well. Like, you gotta have some, like, some basic abilities <laughs> to be a fucking musician. Like, I was watching, there's this new rapper uh, called Blueface. And his shtick, if you can call it a shtick, is that he can't even rhyme on beat. And, you know, when I see shit like that, that's when I really start thinking that they are really letting anyone be a trap artist nowadays. Like you can be, yeah, you can be literally anyone. It don't even matter, and it's gotten to the point where you don't even have to, you know, be able to rhyme on beat to, you know, be successful. I guess kind of quote unquote successful. Because it's always like, you know, they kind of somehow manage to convince people always to like these artists. And what I mean by that is, you know, the beats are generally good. Like, it's not that difficult to make a trap beat. Let me tell you that. I know that it's not. So, they'll make a good beat for these idiots. Again, people can't even be on beat. And then people listen to it and go like, yeah, this is shit, like, he's not rapping on beat, but you gotta admit, the beat is fire, and then, you know, you just kind of slowly adjust the people, and you'll see, like, fuck, okay, I shouldn't be talking about this, I'm getting distracted. To illustrate my point, you just gotta look up Maddox. Uh, it's this kid who became a meme, like a viral video, with a song he made about fidget spinners. And he has like a full album out now. And he's still as shit as he was uh, when he made the fidget spinner stuff. But now he has a producer and like good visuals in the videos and all that. And then... People don't even care that he can barely rhyme on beat as well. Uh, you know, they've been slowly adjusted to liking it. And that's kind of oh, I've never gotten the great sword, and that's just how it is, you know. If that made any sense, I'll make a full video about that someday when I feel like it. I feel like that's a good topic. Shitty trap artists, and not just it doesn't. Just work for trap, it works for anything. Like EDM a couple of years ago was a perfect example. They let anyone be an EDM producer. Oh. Has this area always lagged this much? Um I don't know if it did. Got the shortcut boys. And we got the boss. Only half an hour in, seriously. I've been tearing through this place. Not gonna lie. I cannot believe... I cannot stop looking at it now. The fact that... <clears throat> yeah, it's weird. You look like the character from... What's that new Souls clone, Ashen? Yeah, look, you look like a character from Ashen. I swear. I think I'm genuinely worried that the quote unquote Souls clone is gonna become the next fad that's gonna kind of oversaturate the gaming market. It's kind of already, I already see it happening. And you know, not picking on Ashen because I heard that it's actually decent, but man, 
Do I not have the interest to play another fucking Souls-like? Because the problem always is, and every single review mentions it as well, the fact that maybe with the exception of Neo, none of them actually understand why the core Souls games are good. I think actually Cuphead was more true to the ideas of a Souls game than any of these other ones. This, I cannot believe it's lagging this much. I have no idea what... Is it because of my stupid mace? Speaking of my stupid mace, I need to upgrade it. Is it because it's spewing that weird vape smoke out of it? Cool. Fuck out. I hate this enemy. This ain't even a real enemy, I swear. Just something they threw together. First of all, you can clip through the dragon. Don't know if you're noticing that I'm standing inside his legs. Second of all, somehow... The whole goddamn dragon disappears when you kill it. Fuck you, Mimic. <laughs> Luckily, Mimics in this game do not have Dark Souls 2 hitboxes because that would be real shitty. I don't know who... I don't know who designed the Mimics in Dark Souls or hitboxes in general in Dark Souls 2, but... God damn. <clears throat> Speaking of, the video has already been out probably because I'm recording this first, but I'm making another video for today about quote unquote Christmas scheduling for the channel because obviously, holiday season, things are going to be a little bit different than normal. So, you know. Just gotta bear with me. Hopefully the kind of holiday programming is gonna be more positive because I'm gonna be streaming more and doing some special videos and all that good shit which you've come to love, hopefully, in 2018. God, that sun is so stupid. There's the other dragon here. Is that curse? Or petrification or whatever? Let's not get hit by that again. It's my recommendation for myself. So good for killing lizards. Excuse me, dragon. I'm just gonna interrupt and take that. And again, like, people have asked, but don't get me wrong, the fact that this game and Neo have been coming out infrequently doesn't mean that I'm not enjoying these games. Like, I'm having, this series is still extremely fun, because playing a build I don't normally play, um, trying something new, I'm really interested about the DLCs, how they're gonna go. You know what? You can get fucked. Man, that deals a lot. As you know, these things are very weak to fire. Cool. I'm getting a lot of stuff for that, actually. Alright, we have 86,000 souls, a bunch of titanite scales, but there's one more thing to do here before we move on. I know there are some assassins here.
which are gonna fucking annihilate me. One thing I'll always remember about the first, the very first Assassin's Creed, which, you know, to be fair, wasn't the best game in the world, uh, is that Assassin, the word, uh, like the origins are, uh, I think, Hashashin or something, because they used to smoke hash before killing someone, or after, I don't remember, smoke that butt hash. But they didn't smoke butt hash, they just smoked normal hash. Well, this has got to be one of the worst ways to die. Get stabbed in the back or get your throat cut by a fucking stoner. Stoned assassins. That wouldn't work today. Hitman, Agent 47. Or Agent 420, maybe. I can already tell from the all the stupid shit I said throughout this episode that I'm way too well rested. Again, I'm off work now, so uh, yeah, I'm too relaxed. Even though my phone has been going off like crazy, I think everybody's realized suddenly that there's four more work years in this work days in this year, and there's shit to do. Alright, we're gonna reinforce weapon, not Estus. I don't worry, the boy knows how this game works. That is a lot of five. Alright. We'll be on the hunt. I mean this weapon is already powerful enough, it's just Needs that little extra push, especially for the DLC. <clears throat> this one is closer, right? For sure it is. Alright, 37 minutes. I think we'll easily get... Don't want to say it, because... I say shit like that, that, that's when the boss suddenly becomes 10 times harder. But if everything goes right, we will get to uh, some of the archives, at least. That's that adjustable difficulty for this game, you know. That fucking PlayStation Eye is listening. Connect. That was something that died out very quickly. I don't know, man. Know a couple of people who have Xboxes, X bones, but I don't know. I'd never get one. Like, what's the point? Like, I'm pretty sure every single game on the Xbox. I thought I was gonna fall off is out on Windows 10 as well, so... I don't know. No offense if you have an Xbox, but... They really dropped the ball, Microsoft, in this console generation. As good as the 360 was, you know, I had a PS3, but I am perfectly fine in admitting that um, the Xbox 360 was better in many ways. Except for technical, like actual hardware performance, because it had some issues. But in everything else, the controller, games library, whatever you can think of, I gotta give it to Xbox. But this generation, I swear, like when has anything significant come out on the Xbone? Like the past year, I can't even remember anything that was just like a straight up exclusive. Um, like Gears, I feel like Gears is definitely not as well liked a franchise as before. This boss is gonna be a nightmare. Maybe not. Fuck, it's so loud this game.
Oh man. Cool. The one time I was glad. Healing is very fast in this game. You know. It is what it is. I've been looking at. Speaking of the game's loudness. I've been looking at uh, getting a wireless headphone set for my consoles. Just to make things easier in terms of volume control, but I'm going the wrong way. Even though I couldn't have it too loud because, first of all, depending on how well the headphones uh, isolate noise, it might still get inside the mic. I'm like, because I this is the type of mic. The type of mic I have is the type where you have to get very close to it. So, you know, and it picks up a lot. I don't know, but sometimes it would be great for again, like when I was streaming Fortnite last Sunday. Yes, I was streaming Fortnite. Don't judge me. Uh, this is the world's slowest elevator, but this guy can't do shit. Obviously, the problem was that you need a decent amount of volume for Fortnite because you gotta hear your enemy's steps and all that. And I couldn't because then the echo would be too big with the mic. But like a decent wireless headphone set is pretty goddamn expensive. That's the thing. Like a pair of Sony. Easily costs over a hundred bucks. The de I mean, like, again, the decent ones. You can get one for way cheaper, but... What's the point? I've been kind of interested in, I think Dolby has a new one, and it has like this really interesting mechanic where uh, it like, it's one of those like, fuck what do you call it, one of those headphones that isolates all noise, outside noise, but there's a setting where you can set how much noise it will let you in, let in from outside. You can stun this fool. Okay, that's... Have we gotten to phase two? <sighs> Fuck. Strafe that like a bitch. This is the battle of the strength builds. Yeah, we're at phase two. Ouch. Why did that knock me that way? Not judging, but... Just questioning. That was quicker than I thought it would be. As in, the... Wind-up time for that attack. <clears throat> I'm almost tempted to try summoning what's-his-name. And then it's gonna be... Triple Battle of the Strength builds. I've never actually summoned him for this boss fight. Fuck it, let's try it. I'm trying it. Never done it. We're doing it now. So yeah, that Dobby uh, headphone set is pretty interesting, but that that one's really expensive. And I actually looked at some reviews, and people say it might not be. 100% worth it because you can only li only link it to one device which is kind of trash that sounds like trash anyways just saying it out loud and I'd like to pair it to at least the switch and the PS speaking of PS I'm wearing the piss armor most most of it This is the Donald Trump visiting Russia armor, soaked in piss. 
Aegon, that's his name. We are rocking the same weapon. Alright, Aegon. Not sure why I deserved your help. Come on. I swear this fool has a fucking Versace pendant as his shield. Oh god damn it, he's gonna be He's gonna be trash, isn't he? That does look kinda cool, to be honest. I know we talked about designer clothes on last Saturday's stream, but there's that gold Versace pendant which I'm not gonna lie, kinda looks cool. Like really gaudy and all that. And the problem is that it's it's just painted metal. It's not even real gold. I mean, obviously, real gold would be way too expensive, but... I don't know. At least make it gold-plated, not just painted. And you can get similar... Ouch. Aegon, this is... Yeah, this is your time to shine. Good thing he just swings and misses. Quite a bit, actually. I'm gonna heal because this thing is near death. Thank you. This is why you want an NPC sometimes. The power of distraction is great. Thank you, Aegon. You hooked me up. Oh yeah, they all died, don't they? Yes, they do. Burnout. Did I pick my stuff back up? Probably not gonna matter too much, but... I guess I did. Okay, well, we know for a fact that I cannot upgrade my weapon. Uh, I think I'm only missing four scales now. This is most likely not enough to level up either. So we're gonna continue on. Take the grueling journey to the next bonfire. This is one of the worst bonfire runs in the game. You gotta be like on point to be able to make it through here. Oh, there it is. Seriously, this shit. And again, like, my theory and many other people's theory is that at one point in this game, uh, bosses didn't drop bonfires. I don't know why they changed it, because this makes no fucking sense, let me tell you that. The fact that you can see one bomb oh hello one bomb fire from the other kind of trashy but it's okay what up i owned you the last time we fought so it's probably what's going to happen here as well I already took half his hp these boys do not like frostbite do they most enemies don't But putting that aside, the weird bonfire placement, I do like this area, gotta admit. I do like this whole end uh, Lothric Castle journey as well. I know you can come here earlier, but somehow it just doesn't feel fitting. Like this feels like the end of the game. This is some. Fine aiming from me. Fine aiming. Oops. 
telling you. You're watching a pro at work. This is a really satisfying weapon to use. I'm honestly glad I picked it. And I don't know if I'll get a secondary or not. Depending on so if something is like... Alright, three left. Something is like mega resistant to... Frostbite. I think Sister Freed maybe. But then again, like... Like, Frostbite is not like magic damage where it's a separate stat, you know. I'm not covered in wax. So I'm gonna get, yeah. I'm gonna get fondled. Yeah, let's just take care of that. I don't want to be molested by ghost hands. Not today. Dip it in, boy. Into the giant tub of jizz right here. Uh, God damn it. This dining room is arranged really badly. I see they don't even try to fondle you. Much better. I don't know what this does. Genuinely. Oh, hello. I didn't know this was a thing. I probably did know this was a thing because I played through most of the ultimate pyromancy guide. All the important bits anyways. And fuck you. Two remaining. Because the last upgrade is done with um, <clears throat> a Titanite Slab, so once we get to plus 4, we got plus 5 locked down, because I have more Titanite Slabs than I know what to do with. I've got more upgrade materials than I know what to do with, genuinely. The what's his name? The Crystal Sage is making those noises, right? Not the not the books. Do you heal or do you not heal? You do not heal. You're gonna get fucked up now. Told you. I don't think I've ever managed to kill him without him going to his third location. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the power of this weapon, I guess. These things have an attack, which I swear takes like 70% of your HP. It's insane. Watch this. Pro platforming. Two left. No, one left. I miscounted. Holy shit. This is gonna be so good. I don't know what that does either. Never mind. Come on. You know you want to. Maybe not. Please tell me that's a Titanite scale. <clears throat> Dip your head into the smaller wad of cum. And then... That, actually. Because wad is a small piece. Which, in the context, it also kind of works. But a vat works better. Alright, Titanite. I'm on the hunt for Titanite scales. I'm about to pick up every single treasure I see.
And if you think that I'm not getting the maximum use out of my shield, you're probably right, because I don't even need to use it. Tainite scale. Yes, boys, we are... We are on track. We are on track. This shit is gonna annihilate. Uh, yeah, okay. Just thinking if that's the right path, but it is. Now, all we need to do is find the closest bonfire, and then we can get going. Back to the shrine, I mean. I think this is this is a shortcut, right? Back to the start. I'm fairly sure it is. Yeah. It's like a weirdly open room. I don't know why it's so... I don't know. It just seems very, very wide open. Really, that no, don't make any sense, but... Oh! Oh, wait. I was so scared for a second that you need to activate something on the other side. Well, technically, it wouldn't matter because could just homeward bomb. Oh well, sorry. First yawn. I've been shit. I've been going for fifty-seven minutes. It's time flies when you're having fun, as they say. This video is gonna take fucking three years to render. I swear. It's actually not, but, you know, sometimes you have to dramatize a couple of things. Okay, I'm going to upgrade and that's going to be the last thing we do in this episode. Let's get to reinforcing this bitch. And we got it. Ward's Great Hammer plus five. Feel the power. Anyways, this has been a fun hour-long episode, almost hour-long. Um, yeah, I think, again, this series is going to probably continue like this. So, yeah, just because if I sit down to play it, it's easier to, you know, just record one big chunk. Plus, again, I'm on holiday. And there's also probably a video out already uh, explaining kind of the whole holiday video schedule thingy. So yeah, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next I'll see all of you next time. I fucked up my own outro. Goodbye.